Welcome to everybody. In this video, we are going to derive the OLS estimator in the case of matrix notation. So, by matrix notation, Y will be a n times 1 vector, then X will be a matrix with n rows and k plus 1 columns this plus one derives from the fact that, that we are assuming there is a constant term then beta will be a k plus one rows times one column and then we have the error term that will be u or i prefer e that will be a vector of an observation in one column so first of all like since we are in the OLS context, we have to minimize the error term. The error term will be E that is equal to Y minus X time beta. So our goal is to minimize E squared. Let the matrix notation will be E transposed E that will be equal to y minus x beta transpose times y minus x beta. Then <coughs> we proceed on multiplying the terms. Then will we have y transpose y minus y transpose x beta minus beta transpose x transpose y minus beta transpose x transpose x times beta and then we can just uh, uh, subtract this stuff because those are scalars for this reason there is just one element in those so all this will be equal to y transpose y minus 2 times beta transposed x transposed y minus beta transposed x transposed x beta now we proceed on that we we'll call this q and that is a function of beta then we minimize all this stuff and our goal is to find the beta that minimizes this function. So we proceed on the first derivative with respect to beta. So I write again the function that is equal to y transpose y minus 2 beta transpose x transpose y minus beta transpose x transpose x beta. So we take the partial derivative of this stuff with respect to uh, beta. So it will be, so the first beta appears here and uh, it is just one, so it is a simple derivative, minus two x transpose y minus, now we have two betas here. <clears throat> so we have to consider them as squared so as uh, we derive, we do the derivation for a squared term, we'll have two that multiplies x transpose and x and beta, and we set, the, set that equal to zero. Now the two simplifies, then we are residual, we, uh, what we have is x transpose x times beta, is equal to x transposed x transposed y. Now uh, we are assuming that uh, uh, x is full rank. So when it is full rank, then it is invertible. So we can pre-multiply both sides by x transposed x inverse times x transposed x beta that is equal to 
x transposed x all the stuff together uh, inverse time times x transposed y so this simplifies and then we are left with our beta of OLS that minimize the residuals that is x transposed x inverse times x transposed y now we want to derive the the variance of the OLS estimator so we derived it uh, conditional on x and conditional on uh, homoscedastic residuals so we are assuming that uh, uh, var the variance of u given x is equal to sigma squared times the identity matrix of size n so we proceed on computing the variance of beta hat that given x that will be the variance of the variance of x transposed x inverse times x transposed y now uh, we have to substitute y with its uh, formula that is x beta plus e now we we notice that if we multiply this with this we are just left with beta so we are taking the variance of beta plus x transposed x minus 1 times x transposed e now we can we can see simp simply ignore the fact that beta is in here because the variance of beta will be just zero and we have to deal with the covariance of these two terms but since beta is constant the covariance of the two will be zero so we are just left with computing the variance of x transposed x inverse times x transposed e now uh, since we are computing i forgot to state the fact that all these is conditional on x since uh, this is conditional on x we can just treat this as constant so we can take them out of the variance operator and take the square so to take the square we take them out on the left x transposed x inverse x transposed the variance of e given x times times the transpose of this that will be x that multiplies x transpose x inverse now on the beginning we said that a also substitute consider all the i said as u that is the same we said that we said before that the variance of the error term it is equal to sigma squared times the identity matrix so we have that all this stuff is equal to x transposed x inverse times x transposed sigma square identity matrix x times x transposed x inverse then we can just slip away this here 
since it is a constant term. And then we are left with sigma squared that multiplies x transposed x inverse times x transposed x, x transposed x inverse. Then we can simplify those out. And we are left with sigma squared x transposed x inverse. So the final result is that the variance of beta given x will be just sigma squared times x transposed x inverse in the case of, of homoscedasticity.